right guys i'm taking my turmeric face moisturizer and this one is from nature's pure it's a hair and skincare brand and i'm putting it all over my face and then i'm going to do my brows now the reason i'm doing this this way is because i want the moisturizer to kind of sit into my skin a little bit before i put the primer on and i do realize that this moisturizer mixed with my primer it gives me longevity and it also makes my makeup look really really nice throughout the day irrespective of what makeup i'm wearing on top of it so to do my brows i'm going to draw them on with a brown eyeliner first then i'm going to add a black eyeliner where my natural brow hair ends then i'm taking medium from la girl and i'm going to use the darkest color in that because they're two in one i mean yeah it's a it's a dual so i'm going to take the darker color and i'm going to be doing my brows then i'm going to take the lighter color and i'm going to be putting that right on the arch of my brows i have hooded eyes so I like doing this step because it creates the illusion of more eye space and it also well more than likely mostly um brings up my brow bone way more so for my primer i'm going to be taking my sasha cosmetics primer i have not used this primer in a really long while I've been using my Fenty Beauty one because I love how the Fenty Beauty primer feels with this moisturizer. But I'm going ahead and using my um, Sasha Cosmetics today. And for my foundation, I'm taking my Beauty Bakery foundation, the Cake Mix. And this is in the color 17. So I'm just going to apply this all over my face. And as you can see, I'm working at like one section at a time. So my cheeks, cheek, my cheek, cheek, forehead, nose, chin, that's what I'm doing. And then I'm also going to be applying the concealer that I was having problems with, with. But look at it now. Remember in the other video I said that you have to, for your beauty, your beauty blender, sorry, can't be wet. You know, it can't be damp either. It just has to be like... I don't know just no water can be on it whatsoever so that's what I do and I love the concealer how it behaves when I do what I'm supposed to do <laughs> then I'm low lighting with my Fenty Beauty um, matchstick in espresso and I'm blending out with this um, brush from our upcoming um, uh, brush line or upcoming Kiba brush line so the powder I used before was my Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup. Now I'm using my Sasha Cosmetics Perfect Spice. And that's my all over face. So I'm going to go back in with Buttercup and I'm actually going to be using this as my brow bone color. And then after that, I'm going to be taking my Juvia's Place Palette. And this is the only palette that I'll be using. Um, this look is similar. This is the Juvia's Place of... Afrik, yeah, Afrik by Juvia's Place. And this look is when I finish in it, guys, I have a similar look to this on my channel. Like using these similar colors. And I was like, oh my god, I didn't realize until after I was done. So everything that I um used, I held up and I showed you guys. So if you have this palette, you know, go on and pop it out also. So I'm putting this color first in my crease and a little bit under my brow bone. And then I'll be taking the other color and I'll be putting it um I'll be using a yellow. Oh my god. I have not used a yellow as my brow bone highlight in a very long time. And I love the look of a yellow brow bone highlight. Of course, it's like a stark yellow. But it, 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 I don't know. I think it just adds to the look. It just looks, I don't know. I just I love, I love oranges and yellows. I don't know. I, I like what it looks. See? It just gives a, a look. Gosh. Anyway, I'm taking this color as well, and I'm putting this closer to my the beginning of my brow bone, as well as all over my crease, and I'm going to push this a little bit further onto my um, brow bone itself. And I'm going to go ahead and switch up my brushes, and I'm going to de um focus this right in the crease of my eyes. Now, I was kind of, I could have left it like this and deepened it up and everything, but I really wanted to do like a cut crease wing kind of a thing and I have another look for a cut crease wing situation but it I got the idea while I was doing this look so that's for another time now in this palette there's not really a dark color that I could use to deepen this which would have been ideal so I went ahead and I used the blue and yes the blue is showing through but it's also adding some depth to the look if you can see then I'm using my N w35 and this is my pro long wear concealer from mac cosmetics i love using this concealer to do my cut crease it does not crease under oh so that's so cute under no circumstances does this thing crease 
and I completely appreciate it. Um, so then I'm going back into the palette and I'm going to be taking this golden color. Yes, they have names when I can see them right now. And that's going to be going on the beginning, like the first third of my eye. And first third, one, two, three, four, crap. I'm putting it there and then I'm going to be going in with this color and that's going to be go that's going to go right beside the first color that I place but what I do to blend it as in like to fuse the colors so that there's no line of demarcation is I apply the second color independently and then I kind of push it into the first color then I go back into the first color and overlap it with the second I really hope that wasn't too technical or too difficult for you the only thing I don't like is that this color is similar to the blue so it, it can it can re, can't really tell a difference but yeah so now i'm lining my eyes with my la pro primer and this is in black and i'm going to be blending it out now the reason why i'm blending it out is that i find that whenever i'm trying to apply color underneath because i didn't blend it out there's a lot of product still there so by me blending it out i'm kind of just kind of distributing the product some more on my lash line and then i'm going to go in with the orange and i'm going to pat it right under my lash line and right under the the blended out area of the black now you don't see this on camera but the orange is going to be a, a bit more see how much of the orange has come out in this clip that's because i applied more and more just pack on the orange on it so i'm taking the saharan volume 2 palette and this is actually going to be my blush as well as my highlight and this is technically the end of the video the lip gloss i use is actually from kylie cosmetics and this is called literally i love this gloss it's one of my favorite glasses it's absolutely beautiful but this is the look this is the look i filmed this this morning for you guys I edited it shorter and moved with, moved with more efficiency in this voiceover. So I really hope you guys have been enjoying this week of slage on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment in the description bar below and I will reply to them as soon as I can. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. You'll see me in the next video. Thank you again for your support. Oh, I'm wearing my lashes, by the way, my pomy lashes. So thanks for your support, you guys, and I'll talk to you in the next video. I don't mean the boss now We just hit the wave like it's the coast now When we leave your city, turn your city